What's up everybody? AG here back again with another video. So I'll be checking out the uh, special program for Zenler Zone Zero version 1.3. Well, to be honest with you all, I don't know what to expect in this special program as a matter of fact, but from what I understand, right, uh, there's a possibility that it might involve uh, se section 6. So anyhow, let's not waste any more time. Let's just watch this um, special, special program. And let's see what Zenith Zone Zero have in store for version 1.3. Alright, Zenith Zone Zero, let's see what you got. Hi there, proxies. Welcome to the Zenith Zone Zero special program. Great to see you all again. I'm the intelligence broker with the hottest gossip on the scene, Mr. Z. And Mr. next Z to me in is. In the house? Hello, uh. Lady Meow. We're live now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. In today's live stream, I'll be teaming up with Lady Meow to bring you all the latest updates. <clears throat> we truly appreciate your support. Why so serious, Mr. Z? You're not is nervous that a joker reference? The story is about Section 6 this time, are you? Not at oh. all. The section about 6, section six, six is, is an elite team specifically trained to handle hollow disasters. To residents of New Eridu, they're like guardians watching over us. That might be a bit of an exaggeration, but for the average person, Section 6 is definitely a group to look up to. I heard they've even got quite the fan base. Mm -hmm. As the best intel broker in New Eridu, I've infiltrated the Section 6 fan club and got an inside scoop about the team. Next, I'll be introducing them to you all. But before we get to Section 6, we have to first introduce HAND, the Hollow Affairs and Neutralization Department. Okay. They're one of the top governing agencies in New Eridu. Oh, the bureaucracy. In mm -hmm. area? Let's not put it that way. Although they're a high level organization involved in city administration, I'm getting a new area. HAND mainly handles matters related to hollow disasters. As a specialized agency, HAND needs its own armed forces. Which is why they established hollow special operations. I see and the female Section Virgil. Six is the sixth unit of HSO. That's right. Section six has built quite the reputation oh, since its so establishment and gained a lot of respect among the public. Though I under who this normal guy is circumstances, few get the chance to interact with them. But if you ever get caught up in a hollow disaster or some hollow related crime, you might just meet this elite team. Yep. If you do run into them, consider it both a blessing and a curse. Right. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a blessing in the sense that Section 6 is undeniably skilled and will definitely rescue you. But it's also a curse, since the team members are all pretty eccentric, so you still better hope for the best. Well, you aren't wrong about that, Lady Meow, but don't worry, everyone. There is one normal person among them that you can rely on. One you mean Miss Yanagi, right? That's right. And the story we are about to witness also revolves around Miss Yanagi. Oh, Everyone Yanagi. knows now that HSO Section 6 is part of Hans Armed Forces. And that the team members are all highly capable fighters. Yeah, the founder and team leader Miss Hoshimi Miyabi is particularly exceptional. I want you. But it's Miss Yanagi's guidance that transforms the raw power of Section 6's field agents into an effective asset in battle. Sounds like Miss Yanagi is the brains behind the team. Seems like you. <laughs> you could put it that way, but if you want to know more... Let's play the VCR! Trailer time! Whoa, What's this is definitely new area. Chief? It's probably just my imagination. But I feel like something is about to happen. Hollow Special Operations Section 6, Heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. Did you see? Section 6. I can fail countless times, but you can afford a single mistake! Hurting people like this. The special monster we're looking for must be you. Right. Get a gain action. And I believe 
for the look of the weapon, she's, she's using uh, Nodachi. Where it's a it's a combination of um, sword and spear, from what I understand. Correct right, me if I'm wrong. And she's kind of hot, though. As a matter of fact. I Meanwhile, of the sons of Kalanon. Meanwhile, at the desert. I'm here to issue a challenge to all of you. Shout out to Alex Lee, by the way. To deal with you, fists are more than enough. You've got a plan to take them down, right? And you're going down with me! Get out of there! Loki Shiro Yanagi! Virtual wow, revenge. that was a lot of info. Were Miss Yanagi and Miss Miyabi fighting? I wonder what happened. You can ask her yourself. Hey, Lady Mail, why are you always revealing information ahead of me? Where did you even source that from? Come on, Mr. Z. I'm an intel broker too, you know. I managed to get some audio files of Miss Yanagi. Wanna listen? <laughs> what? Hello, I'm Sukashiro Yanagi, Deputy Chief and Intelligence Officer of Section 6. Is this from a public recording? Hello, Chief Sukishiro Yanagi. Sorry, I'm the Deputy Chief. Oh. The Chief of Section 6 is Hoshimi Miyabi. Please be careful not to confuse our positions. Right. How are you having a conversation with the recording? Mm, thank you for the clarification, Miss Yanagi. I heard Section 6 was single-handedly established by Miss Miyabi, and that it's an elite team that holds a rather special position even within hand. Is there some deeper story behind it, hmm? Chief Miyabi played a key role in establishing Section 6, but it was also a decision carefully made by hand and the city administration in consideration of the state of the city and the Hollows. We share the same mission as our other colleagues at hand, to deal with Hollow disasters. Residents of New Eridu can also log into the city's official website for public information on all divisions of hand. Oh my, quite the official answer. You sure don't let anything slip through, huh? Well, I heard that the members of Section 6 are all rather eccentric. How do you coordinate them, Miss Yanagi? Section 6 <coughs> operates Sorry. smoothly under our Chief's leadership. I simply assist her by handling minor tasks when needed. Our team is equipped to deal with any major hollow related incidents, and my teammates know what they're doing, so there's no need for too much supervision. Of course, if anyone's skipping shifts or slacking off, uh -oh. then it's my duty to discipline them. The eyes changed. Is this just my imagination, or did the room just get colder? <laughs> Must be your imagination. But I can tell this family would fall apart without you. All right, let's talk about Section 6's latest operation now. Can you tell us about what you encountered during this incident? We were invited by the HIA to test some new technology, which included trying out new equipment and recording raw data. Okay. The specifics are confidential. Ooh, I can sense something big must have happened here. Could it be related to the new equipment? Ah, the curiosity is killing me. Looks like we'll have to find out the truth ourselves when we get to experience oh, special a episode. new special episode. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Miss Yanagi. I can't believe I didn't know about this oh, intel. Oh, it's a special I episode, just like the. Don't be sad, Mr. Z. Jane's no uh, story quest. The outer ring, right? We're counting on you to fill us in about that. R really? Am I still qualified to do this? Oh. Go ahead. Then let's shift our focus back to the outer ring for now. Although the Torridi Inferno has concluded, the story of a certain champion remains untold. After the Tour de Inferno, I'm sure all you proxies are more familiar with Lighter now. Yep. And as the champion of the Sons of Caladon, he doesn't concern himself with the names of those he's defeated. Yeah, I remember Sporting that. Sporting his leather jacket, accented with a bright red scarf, I'd say he's the coolest guy in my book. But the question is, why would someone so independent like him join a biker gang? Well, although Lighter might seem like quite the lone wolf, he actually cherishes every member of the Sons of Caledon. But there must be some hidden reason behind his decision to join them. A hidden reason? In that case, should we ask Lighter himself? Don't tell me you have a recording of him too. Hello, Mr. Lighter. Hey. 
Why did you join the Sons of Caledon? Wait, are you really just gonna ask like that? If there's a hidden reason he wouldn't just tell us. I owed Big Daddy a favor. Huh? That's it? I uh, see. As expected of Mr. Lender, straightforward audio and not really synchronized? Speaking of which, the Tour d'Inferno is over and a new overlord has been crowned. But I heard there's something called Settlement Days in the Outer Ring. Ah, uh, I've heard of it too. By tradition, within three days of a new overlord taking charge, anyone with past grievances can challenge the new leader to settle scores. This is also a chance for the gangs to resolve personal grudges. In the past, these challenges were certainly far more brutal. But in recent times, Settlement Days is more like a festival, and it's become rare to see anyone actually trying to make trouble for the Overlord. Do you think anyone would challenge you, Mr. Leiter? Certainly seems so. See you around. Ah, and there he goes. What do you feel kind of a little off? That didn't take long. And he doesn't seem nervous at all. Right. It doesn't seem like the Sons of Caledon are taking settlement days very seriously. But like Leiter just said, things have calmed down a bit in the past few years. In Leiter's agent story, you'll receive an invitation from the Sons of Caledon oh. to participate will in be this outer his ring story. celebration. As the settlement I have a feeling begins, his agent story will be available in the second half of the around. of version 1.4. Meanwhile, Leiter readily accepts challenges and steps into the arena. However, as he continues to win battle after battle, the situation starts to take an unexpected turn. And this is where you leave everyone hanging? Hey, if we give away too much, there won't be any suspense. <laughs> Speaking of the Outer Ring, isn't Pearlman still out cold there? Oh. We shouldn't forget, yep. he still has crucial intel. Not to worry, it won't take long before your proxies can get that crucial intel from Pearlman. And Section 6's elites will, will be through an in, unexpected turn of events, be, 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 end up becoming involved was again with in the fishing case. This is just the start of Bell and Wise's story with the members of Section 6. So please stay tuned for future installments of the main story. There'll still be some time before the continuation of that story. So, let's return to version 1.3 and get to introducing our agents. Huh? We're moving on already. All right, let's dive into the intel on Miss Tsukishiro Yanagi. As you can see, I'm the one giving the info Bro, this time. Her puppies. Tsukishiro Yanagi, a member of Section 6 and an S-rank anomaly agent with electrifying attacks. Seriously, doesn't anyone care that I'm the one who got this info? Isn't Bernice also an anomaly as well? Naginata that oh, it's called Naginata. My bad. Game. My bad. In combat, she uses a combination Naginata. of styles to take down enemies. I thought it's called Nodachi. Her it's called Naginata. Lets her My attack bad. enemies while changing her stance. Yanagi's available moves will change depending on her stance, and she'll also get different buffs. These buffs remain in effect for some time after Yanagi switches stances. Simply put, as long as you keep a good rhythm of switching her stances, Yanagi can continuously receive the buffs from both stances. Also, after Yanagi switches her stance, every time she deals Stand damage switch. with a basic attack, her anomaly buildup increases. When she unleashes her I EX special her attack, play. Yanagi enters Shinra Bansho state and switches her stance. Is different from Namaya from Gambu, in with a forward step, uh, followed by a powerful rise. downward attack. Bamboo reeling. If the target is because Narmaya also has uh, stand switch as well. A special disorder effect without removing the target's anomaly while giving herself a buff. Now let's see this in action. So I'm kind of curious. What's the difference between her uh, two stances? In okay, combat, Bernice? you can switch Yanagi in to unleash her EX special attack after her teammate triggers an anomaly, mm -hmm. dealing extra damage while applying debuffs. Okay. In such cases, Yanagi deals massive electric damage while switching from stance to stance to maintain her buffs. There is none of the usual gentleness that Yanagi seems to exude when activating her ultimate, only intense focus as she lets loose a flurry of deadly slashes. Trust me, you don't want to be on her bad side when she gets serious. 
Agreed. But in her day-to-day -day life, Yanagi is still a gentle yeah, I think person. Design looks good though, I would she say only this. becomes that serious and when things once get again, real. Her oh, puppies. Got more details to share? Mm -mm. I can't give away everything just yet. Now let's shift our focus to Lighter. Here comes Lighter and S. Oh, stun Fire agent, stun just like agent. if you saw our last same category as program, you probably MB. still remember this cool dude. Of course. Uh -huh. Indeed, he's a proud member of the Sons of Caledon, no doubt. With those golden gauntlets and that red scarf, he certainly stands out in a crowd. But truth be told, Lutter's not one to hot the spotlight. And of course, he uses his fists in combat. Lighter faces his enemies head on. Just in like Luca from Homecast Star Wheel. And when his morale but is probably high enough, the fifth hit the... of his basic attack. Him into an and, and he's even doing uh, he he's, he's going Ora Ora as a matter of fact to quickly stun his foes. His attacks also reduce the target's fire and ice resistance and makes them stunned longer. I was just saying, I was just saying, and someone literally, and Mr. Z already pulled a Jojo reference. During combat, Lighter recovers morale as his teammates face off against opponents. Okay. Once Slider is ready to roll, you can use a quick assist to switch him in. He can hammer enemies with a continuous flurry of punches while nimbly dodging attacks. This helps him stun enemies quicker, setting up his team for some serious DPS. And when it's and time for his ultimate, Lighter And he is literally paired with Alan and Lycan. Dealing massive damage and daze to nearby enemies. With his fiery fists and powerful fighting style, Lighter Ooh. sure is a hot The art one. style looks cool though, I would say. Uh, right, got it. That's all for our new agents, but let's not forget our new Bang Boo, Baddy Boo, and Night Boo. Two, Two new Bang Boos as well? Any chance they'll help get our Mahjong game going? We're still short two players, you know. Ah. Uh. Hmm, I don't think so. <clears throat> let's stay on track. After the 1.3 update, proxies can signal search in the Bang Boo channel to get the A rank Bang Boo, Daddy Boo. Oh, it's A rank. And they also get Night Boo as a reward from the event, The Mystery of Arpeggio Fault. Okay. Just so you know, the only way to obtain Night Boo as of now will be from that event. Betty Boo okay. is an A rank Bang Boo who uses rockets and Molotov cocktails to deal fire damage with his active skill. When teaming up with an agent and activating a chain attack, Batty Boo leaps forward and shoots a rocket, dealing fire damage in a large area ahead. Take them all out with one big blast. Very nice. Now our other A rank Bang Boo, Night Boo, can summon stars onto the battlefield. Stars? Collecting those stars restores energy for agents. Oh. When activating a chain attack, Night Boo summons three rainbow ponies. The ponies trample enemies ahead, dealing ether damage. With these new agents and Bang Boo raring to go, let's talk about signal searching. Meow. In the first half of version 1.3, proxies will have access to the exclusive channel Moonlit Serenity and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata, where you can obtain the exclusive S rank agent Tsukishiro Yanagi and S rank W Engine Time Weaver. Okay. In the latter half, the exclusive channel As Champion expected. of Embers and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata will be offering exclusive S Rank Agent Lighter and the S Rank W Engine Blazing Laurel. As for the 1.3 check in, and events, of course, as a check in each event, you can get 10 encrypted master tapes and 10 coupons in total. So don't forget to log in. As usual. Also, I'm many surprised. of you probably know that you can obtain a dynamic background when reaching Trust Rank 4 with characters. Yeah. Here are Yanagi and Lighter's dynamic backgrounds. Alright, let's see. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, those are nice. Better get those Trust Ranks up. Legs. And don't forget the new... The legs. These new friends are itching to team up with you all. Maybe we can Ooh. squeeze in a couple rounds of Mahjong Lighter before without they go join our proxies? Looking cool, Perhaps boy. we should drop that topic for now. Hmm. 
Then what topic should we talk about instead? Events? Maybe something that proxies really like. Redemption code, go! Alright, redemption, uh, redemption code time. Let me just... Uh, Alright. Uh, let me go over here. Virtual Revenge, gotcha. Okay. Tell it until tomorrow, 11.59 p.m. Got it. <sighs> as much as I would love to pull for Yanagi, but then I have a gut, but then I'm si I also want to pull for Miyabi as well. And I'm still at F2P status as a matter of fact, so. Anyhow, let's just see. With the version 1.3 update, we'll be introducing some new events and game modes too. Let's take a look. First of all, Miss Yanagi and Mr. Lighter stories are coming. Yeah, I know. Right. In version 1.3, our new stories will be available through the themed event TV schedule. What? This event has unique tokens, which proxies can earn from story broadcast and warm up exercises, and then exchange them for rewards. In Sugashiro Yanagi's program in the TV schedule, Moonlight Traces, Proxies can check out Sukushiro Yanagi's story and themed stages. Meanwhile, in Lighter's TV schedule program, the champion, not only can you find Lighter's story and stages, you can also check out the special play in which players can use Lighter across a series of horizontal battle stages. Each stage will give oh, Lighter a different buff. Okay. Of course, we can't let Lighter fight alone. At the start of each stage, Proxies can designate an agent as a supporting character. Call them in at the right times to summon them and have them unleash their skills. Timing your support character right can lead to additional buffs. As for our combat lovers, we've added a new permanent gameplay mode, the Simulated Battle Trials. Mm. By fighting battle after exhilarating battle, proxies can steadily climb higher on the tower. Apart from Polychrome Rewards, players will obtain a badge upon reaching a certain floor. Okay. The higher you climb, the shinier your metal gets. But please keep this in mind. The higher you climb, the tougher your opponents. And your agents won't recover. What? Until you complete the entire phase. Like your Oof. HP, for example. Agents will retain the amount of HP they had from the previous battle. When an agent falls in battle, proxies can select a replacement from their reserves. Okay. As you keep going through the challenge, you'll unlock more agents to choose from. Yep. And enemy abilities will get stronger in simulated battle trials, too. For example, when you beat one of the twin bosses, they resurrect faster than in regular fights. Oh, crap. You gotta stay flexible with your teams to conquer that tower. Go for it, proxies. End game content. In addition, we're adding a new roguelike gameplay mode in Hollow Zero called The Mystery of Arpeggio Fault. Okay. This mode is split into five chapters. Each chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated areas More waiting -game to be content. explored. As you can see, in this mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight enemies by ramming their tiles and defeat them by literally bumping oh. into them with sufficient combat power. In addition, you can even loot some NPCs via board combat. Like this innocent shopkeeper here. <laughs> Let's help ourselves to all the loot. Looks like even the store owners can't resist the proxy's sheer power. I mean, their sharp wit. Also in this game mode, instead of applying to combat, Rizonia will affect the HDD TV monitor board. Okay. The Bang Boo you get in game will show up as special Bang Boo Rizonia following proxies and providing bonus effects. During exploration, proxies will gain EXP, which can be used to activate the Blessing Group, chosen at the start to boost your exploration abilities. 
Once you've finished exploring a floor, you can move on to the next one for more resources. The resources you collect can be used to upgrade your skill tree while outside the game mode, giving you even more buffs for your next adventure. And the neat thing is, the buffs you get from the skill tree are completely up to you. So, proxies can customize their skills to suit their style. Now that we've talked about the gameplay, let's discuss rewards. There are both permanent and limited time rewards. Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new Bang Boo, Night Boo. I won't delve into the details here. Let's leave it to our proxies to explore for themselves. Yeah. Oh, all this I heard that all this explanation is, 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 is making my head there, spinning round and round to be beautiful, guys. With different buffs for each stage. Notably, they're offering stages where you can test out the new agent, Tsukishiro Yanagi. Utilizing specific buffs, proxies can try soloing the stages with a single agent. Nice. So don't miss out if that sounds like something you're into. By the mm. way, have you heard the buzz about breaded belief in New Eridu? They're gearing up to open a pop-up store at Lumina Square soon. Wow, perhaps we'll bump into some familiar faces. Not only that, Word has it that the chef needs some help to host a special group of lucky customers. Okay. Let a hand, and you might score a spot as a VVVIP customer at the store. And who knows, there might be more rewards waiting too. Little Bang Boo dreaming big dreams. Apart from this recruitment for catering services, a Bang Boo coach has thrown out an invite too. Okay. The Enna Assistant Program event is coming your way in version 1.3. During this event, proxies can visit different Bangboo each day to accept tasks. Take photos for the Bangboo and assist the coach in checking on the results of their training. Those Bangboo can be a handful. If you want to check the results of their training, you gotta start by counting them. Don't let any distractions throw you off. Bangboo always appreciate a helping hand from proxies. So, besides the event rewards, you can also get some photo wall decorations in return. Okay. There's also a Bang Boo with a little cart handing out tasks, too. Head over to the Help Kai event, complete tasks, and get some sweet rewards as thanks. By the way, have you heard? San Z Studio is opening up in Lumina Square. Okay. They're stocking up on all the latest gadgets. Swing by and check it out. Don't just window shop. If you see something oh, you like, this grab is to it and show the... off your latest finds on your display stand it's basically on the second floor of the video store. Treat yourself to something nice. Is this In basically... addition, we will be getting double okay. drops events for combat simulation and routine cleanup. Nice. So proxies, get your farming hats on. In version 1.3, we optimized the layout of the France system. Expanding the size of the name card and adding a section to display titles and badges. Okay. Proxies will be able to get various titles from events and from Agent Trust. It's smart of you them to put uh, Yanagi as and the game as card. For these badges, you can earn them from various game modes and have multiple on display at once. Of course, if you'd rather not show off any titles or badges, that's totally fine too. Just change your title or toggle both off through your social settings. With all those events, proxies will have their hands full for a while. But wait, there's more! I know you've got a whole list of optimizations too. Come on, spill! Of course, of course. Talk? In version 1.3, we've tweaked the functionality, appearance, and gadgets for the compendium. For example, we've improved how daily tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Now, even if your engagement is maxed out, you'll still see incomplete tasks marked out with the Go To button for easy access. We've also revamped the weekly tasks at the very left under the errands tab. This update introduces a new interface and way to choose tasks, which oh. refresh weekly. This update will drop on November 11th, a week after the new version is released. Moreover, the Challenge tab has been renamed to Combat for better clarity. Under the Combat tab, you'll find new ways to access standard game modes, like the Investigator Training Course in version 1.2 and the new game modes that will be added in version 
We've added a new tactics tab on the far right side of the compendium. Itchies. Proxies can use it to access combat tutorial stages. Oh. Getting more familiar with the mechanics, meeting learning targets, and obtaining you're first You're talking about rewards. tactics and yet you're showing the combat. Plus, you can tab. access free training and your cooperation exercises from here too. Oh, all these training exercises are now conveniently grouped together. Yeah, and also, we've optimized the interfaces, layouts, stores, and the claiming of rewards for Notorious Hunt, Shiyu Defense, and Hollow Zero. We've also added a new related agent feature for Expert Challenge, Notorious Hunt, and Routine Ah, cleaner. the same feature With that uh, Professor Mario had. Nice. Who need the materials and disc nice. from each stage. That's the when exact same feature that Professor Mario had. We've made nice. a number of changes regarding materials, drive discs, W engines, and more. For example, we're adding a quick craft slash dismantle function in version 1.3. In the past, when you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats, dismantle more advanced ones, or use comprehensive ones to fill in the gaps. However, only materials one level lower were considered before. No. With this update, the system now checks for materials across levels. You can skip slogging through multiple interfaces, crafting level by level, and instead get everything you need on a single pop-up window. Nice. Provided you have enough necessary materials, of course. Nice. Yep. So, if you're running low on materials one level down, but have plenty of even lower level materials, you can craft across a nice feature. with a single action. I like it! But while we've always been able to craft low level materials into more advanced ones, then maybe we should let other items have Wait. a go too. You bet. In version 1.3, we're extending this handy feature to drive disc master nice. copies as well. Nice! So, proxies will be able to craft more advanced tuning items to get because more Because most of the time, I'll be using discs. the gold color master copy. That really is handy. Oh yeah. That is very handy. Indeed. And that's not the end of it. We've added a new sort by time to the drive disc menu. Then I can also sort my drive discs by when I got them and dismantle them in batches now too? Exactly. We've optimized the whole drive disc dismantling nice. experience. We've made it so you can sort your drive discs when dismantling. Nice. Making it a breeze to filter discs that you don't need. Plus, the old select doll has been replaced by quick select. Just a tap, and you can select Same all feature drive as discs as of a real. grade or all those marked as discarded. We've added the exact same feature as Hongkai Star Real when it comes to re and when it comes to relics. And the original nice. filter button is now an icon with text for better clarity. These minor UI changes can really amp up the whole experience. Also, in version 1.3, you can pin your favorite agents and bang boo. You can pin your agents and bang boo for the agent menu, remodeling shop, bang boo deployment interface, and more. Nice. Now you can find your faves with ease. And Good. let's not forget about the tweaks in the drive disc selection screen over at the music store. Oh, now, much more better. More this is much more once. better. Moreover, we've added quick access from the drive disc recommendations interface. Overall, these touches are all about smoothing out the bumps in your experience. Nice. Oh no, all that excitement drained my energy. Time for a cat nap. Huh? Wait! Hey, hang on a little longer. Lady Meow! Lady Meow! And Don't worry, Proxies. She's we're asleep. professional intel brokers. Even if we're nodding off, we'll stay hanging on. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time. Bye! Uh... <laughs> What's going on? It's okay. Excuse me. Okay. Well, that was an interesting way to wrap up the special program. Anyway, so my thought process on this is basically what I'll be doing in version 1.3 is I will definitely will be checking out the at least 
the the, the story the, the main story uh, the Yanagi story quest without a shadow of a doubt. But as for Lider's agent story, I'm I'm not sure whether I'll be checking that one or not. But we'll see how it is. That's about it for now. If you guys enjoy my reaction to this um, version 1.3 of Zenless Zone Zero so far, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video and leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on the special program? What are your thoughts on the new characters? What are your thoughts on the events or? And will you guys uh will be going for the new characters or are you guys saving up for the for the latter ones like Miyabi and what Anyway, my name is AJ, have a good one and I will see you all in the next video.